Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost! Peekaboo, I see you because I'm YouTube famous now. Available in the fall, in the Christmas, in the winter of 2022-23, the album, Shimmy Shimmy, Dad, AF, the Christmas edition. <clears throat> Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Beast! <laughs> And if you know my story, by grandmother's house, I mean the big house. <laughs> God, that was a bad joke. Anyway, I have to actually tell you, my cousin and I, uh, we were running errands yesterday, and we were at Saks. I was buying some cologne. And um, so when you buy a certain amount at Saks yesterday, I think it was the last week, you get like a gift card. So I had to go take my receipt to this gift card place, right? <clears throat> and so the, when I was done, the woman was telling me, she's like, now, you know, if you come back and you spend so much more money, and my cousin was standing right there, and we both shared the same grandma, you know, the grandma that sadly went to the big house that we're doing research on. But anyway, <clears throat> my cousin was standing right next to me, my cousin Caroline, and uh, so this woman was like, so if you know you have some Christmas shopping to do and you need to spend more money, come back later today, and then you'll get the next highest gift card by spending that much money. And she's like, you know, if you have a, a, a Christmas present you need to buy for Nana or something like that. <laughs> and I looked at my cousin Caroline, and we both kind of started busting out laughing. And I looked at the woman, and I said, our Nana died about 40 years ago. <laughs> I said, there's no more Christmas presents for Nana and I. And I said, uh, it, it, this is, uh, it's just she and I now. I said, it's just my cousin and I. <laughs> Like, we're just like these two old ladies living up in some assisted living program. But anyway, my cousin looked at me and she goes, too much information. I go, okay, all right, everybody wants to know about our life. But anyway, that was our life yesterday. So, hi, how are you? Happy Friday. Are you ready for the weekend? Here, let me pet my fringe. Uh, <laughs> that sounded bad. This is a family-friendly channel, okay? So, when it's a Friday and you're bored... And um, you just got back from buying a suit for a wedding that you're going to tomorrow. I'm, I'm not you, maybe, but I'm going to a wedding tomorrow. So I had to buy a suit for that. And um, I went and got my coffee <laughs> today. Um, so my husband got a tall, blonde Americano. And I tried this. This is new. Oh, <laughs> it says my name is Haley on here. My name's not Haley. But maybe it should be. I don't know. But anyway, I got a grande iced sugar cookie almond milk latte and it is so delicious you guys mm. it tastes like christmas in a cup it's like there's a little 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 itty bitty elf in there okay <laughs> so anyway how are you guys doing today when it's a friday and you're bored and it's cold as hell outside it was literally like 70 75 the last two days and now it's 50, and tomorrow it's supposed to be 38, and there's supposed to be snow in Indiana tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to uh, fall and winter in Indiana. From one day to the next, you never know the weather. But when it's a boring Friday afternoon, why not talk about Jaclyn Hill? So, today I'm going to talk about Jaclyn Hill. I'm going to talk about even more calculated decisiveness that she has done um, with this new brand, her new Be Cozy brand. I want to talk about that um, in relation to... Kay Kayla Nicholson changing or taking down her brand completely and stopping it. And uh, Marlene Estelle of Makeup Geek fandom and uh, fame having something to say about Jaclyn Hill as well, which was very, very interesting to me. You know, I always wonder, like, we don't really live in the world anymore where these influencers speak out when stuff happens. <clears throat> I think they know because immediately drama channels will get all over it and say they've learned, you know, they've learned. Um, and so it's very, ooh, it's very boring times in the drama community anymore, you know, because they've, they've learned to not say anything. But Marlene Estelle, Marlene Estelle, who has had her own history and past with Jaclyn Hill, she came right out and had something to say about Jaclyn Hill allegedly stealing the name Cozy from Kayla Nicholson, okay? And it was very interesting. I mean, it was very pointed. It was direct. She made no beans about the fact that she was talking about Jaclyn Hill because I checked, and I checked in the thread on Twitter, and I looked. Um, so before I get into this, I kind of want to give you a little bit of background history if you don't know what I'm talking about. 
Um, so Jaclyn Hill has come out with a new set of loungewell. Well. Loungewell. <laughs> loungewell? I do. Do you? I don't know. Loungewear. Okay. And it's uh, short and long pajamas for luxury. Hold on. Luxury pajamas. Then there's socks. Luxury socks. And then there's a robe, a luxury robe. And then there is um, a, a luck. My husband was watching the Kardashians last night. And Kim Kardashian was doing this photo shoot for Skims. It was actually very cool. And she was having all of like the the first round, I would say, of what do you call it? Of uh, the, the Victoria's Secret uh, angels, you know, the models back in the day, like Tyra Banks and. Um, all those people and so Heidi Klum and all those people and it was really cool and so because that was the era of the supermodel that I watched okay of, you know uh, Naomi and Linda and Chris I mean those were the ones that I watched that were making ten thousand dollars a day right like eating McDonald's late at night I mean, do you remember all that I mean that was a big deal back in the day and they were all in the uh, the music videos and all that kind of stuff so anyway so I was watching that and I thought oh lord <laughs> Now Jacqueline's going to try to get these supermodels up in her Be Cozy ads because she wants to be just like Kim Kardashian. You're not! What? Listen, Jacqueline, listen. <laughs> listen, okay? She's not a Christian and she's not Kim Kardashian. I know that Jacqueline Hill wants to be a Kardashian. I think she's going to start changing her name to Cacklin because she wants to be Cacklin Kardashian, but she's not, okay? She's not a Kardashian. She's not, and she needs to get over herself with it all, right? Okay, so anyway, which I think I have to say in all honesty, because I was like, why would she not just like, if this gal asked her to change her name, why would she not just go cozy and spell it C-O-Z-E? It's like still kind of edgy. Kaylin even mentioned that herself in the comment that she left, right? But I think she likes the K because it makes her closer to being a Kardashian. So anyway, so um, if you don't know what you don't know is a lot, she came out with this loungewear set that has now been out for, I don't know, two weeks or something. I just went and looked. None of it except for the small and medium wrap-up-me wrap up robe for $126 is sold out. Every, even the socks. <laughs> even the, the two pairs of $24 socks are still available. So you can go get everything. Apparently, what was to be her legacy, okay, because this is supposedly her legacy. Now, I know that Jacqueline Cosmetics was supposed to be her legacy. I know that her uh, collab with Morphe was going to be her legacy. And those brushes with Morphe were going to be her legacy. And her YouTube channel was going to be her legacy. And working at the mat counter was going to be her legacy. I know it was all going to be her legacy, okay? But now apparently, truly, truly, okay, Cozy is her, her legacy. But I don't know, girl. You might want to work a little bit harder for your legacy because your legacy is not doing very good right now, okay? So anyway, um, and I do think it's a lot of, because of a lot of the negative attention. So she comes out with this line, okay? Well, she announces it first. Well, there is a smaller influencer. Her name is Kaylin Nicholson, okay? And she's a YouTuber. She's got like a million and a half subscribers, something like that, close to two million subscribers. And she's a very active Instagram, and she's into this whole cozy aesthetic, okay? Which I love. I love the tea, and I love the coffee, and the yogas, and all that. I mean, I do, okay? I think it's, and she has like a yoga thing that she does, and all this kind of stuff. And I love all that. Y'all know I read the cozy mysteries, okay? Don't start. I, I love them, okay? I love the cozy aesthetics, the candles, and all that kind of stuff, okay? Jacqueline's kind of like, whatever. Who doesn't like to be cozy and comfy these days and hang out in a robe around the house? I mean, let's just be for real. So, Jacqueline says that she's going to come out with this stuff, and Caitlin Nicholson is like, well, wait a second. Like, I've already got this brand name that's all things cozy, spelled K-O-Z-E, right? And my aesthetic is this cozy aesthetic. So is there any way that you could change the name? And I've covered this in like four videos now, so I'm not going to go back and regurgitate all that. But I, she's like, can you change the name of all of this, okay? To this day, and this has now been, we're going on probably six to eight weeks at this point, Jaclyn Hill has never commented on this, never responded to this, never pu publicly made a statement about this. She's acted like, who, what? Cozy? Who, me? Oh, no, I'm the only one. I'm the only one that has ever thought of this using it spelled this way, K-O-Z-E, to this day, okay? And, um, and this is kind of a pattern for Jacqueline that she will come out and she will say, like, oh, my God, I love this iPhone so much. 
And then she'll come out a year later and she'll come out with a phone and call it a J phone, like Jacqueline's phone, right? And she'll be like, oh my God, I've never seen anything like this before. You have to have it. And actually, Dustin Daly just did a fantastic video and he really showed a lot of the coincidences where Jacqueline, they're not at all, where Jacqueline will come out and show something and say like, I love this, like an oil or these brushes. And then she puts out a product that is very, very similar to that, right? And never addresses it. So for all of you Jacqueline fans out there that come over here and you're like, but Jacqueline's so nice and Jacqueline this and Jacqueline that. Jacqueline is a calculated businesswoman that takes no responsibility for her actions whatsoever and all she cares about at the end of the day is the cha-ching, okay? It's why when her lounge wear had like already like gone out and she bought the Chanel purse, then she responded to people coming to her saying, hey, listen, your lounge wear is at a price I can't afford as your fan that has supported you through the years and all you care to show us is this Chanel purse that you buy and, Ch and Jacqueline calls that haters, okay? That's what she chooses to respond to. Those haters. Those haters that bought her that Chanel purse, right? Because they were nice enough, some of them, to buy her past products and some of them have even purchased these products as well. These luxury uh, loungewear products that look to me like something you could get up in the Costco, okay? I mean, they really, truly do. So that's what happened with Kaylin Nicholson. Now, if you don't know what you don't know is a lot, Kaylin Nicholson, I think she was pursuing legal avenues and realized that she didn't, she, there was really nothing that she could do because she hadn't trademarked all of this, okay? Which in retrospect was probably maybe not a smart move. As a business person, you probably need to trademark all those things, right? Okay, so that happened. But I feel for her. I really do. You know, she put her heart and soul into this. She had all of this social media stuff, this huge following that was all built around this idea of all things cozy. That was her thing, right? Like, that was, I mean, it was, it was her deal. It was her YouTube channel. It was her Instagram. It was everything. Well, she came out with a video and she announced that she's closing it down. She's closing shop. Now, she's going to come out and she's going to reinvent herself. And I love this about her, right? I absolutely love this about her. My husband and I, we had the opportunity to interview Kelly Catrone years ago from People's Revolution. I don't know if you guys know who she is. But Kelly Catrone owns People's Revolution, which is one of the uh, largest fashion PR houses in the world. And she's a director of it. And she was on... Uh, the Hills, and she was on, she had her own show called uh, uh, Kel on Earth, and she wrote a book called If You Have to Cry, Go Outside, and she's just, she, I love her. So anyway, Kelly Catrone, when we were interviewing her, I said, what do you do when people steal your ideas? And she said, I let them have it, because obviously they are not creative enough to come up with their own ideas, so I just let them have it, because I can come up with new ideas. And I love that Kaylin Nicholson is saying, I'm not going to let this beat me down. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm going to come up with new ideas. I'm going to reinvent myself and I will be back and I will be better than ever. And her fans will stick by her because of that. And because Jaclyn Hill screwed her so bad, she probably got quite a few of Jaclyn Hill's old fans as well. So that's where we're at with Kaylin Nicholson. Okay. Now, one thing I do want to note about this is that one of Kaylin's big issues was that she was very, very worried. Uh, I want to say this before I get into the Marlene Estelle thing because this is important. <clears throat> one of Kaylin Nicholson's concerns was the SEO ranking when you would search Cozy on Google. If you watch my past videos that I did, I showed you going into Google. I, I went into Google. I Google searched the word K-O-Z-E and what pulled up. And at that time, Kaylin Nicholson's website was number one. Okay, number two was another Kayla Nicholson, Nicholson thing. Then there was like three, four was like a bar and like a barbershop or something. And then like five was Kaylin Nicholson again, and then six, and then like seventh was Jaclyn Hill announcing all this uh, Be Cozy brand, right? Okay, Jaclyn, of course, acts like who, what? I don't care about SEO ranking, oh no. Whatever, right? She doesn't address it. She doesn't say anything about this, okay? And everybody, all the fans are saying, well, maybe Jacqueline didn't look it up. Maybe Jacqueline didn't Google search the name. And all the critics are saying, why would you not Google search this name that you want to use? Um, if you're going to use it in the future, the possibility that maybe somebody out there has already used that name. And a lot of people are saying, 
well, there's hundreds of businesses out there with this name Cozy in it. Well, there really aren't, and there, ve there are very few uh, brand names that are loungewear that are cozy. Dustin, actually, in his video, he talked about how there's a rather large uh, uh, loungewear brand that is called Cozy as well. And the logo looks very similar to Jacqueline's, and she could be under some legal uh, problems for this. Uh, who knows, allegedly, right? Okay. So if you go back and you watch those past videos that I did, I go in there and I show you on Google that Kaylin Nicholson was number one. Her fear was that she was going to get bumped down, okay? And I got all these comments from people that were like, that's not what's going to happen, blah, 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 whatever. So I went in to the Google because I wanted to see, since all this has gone down, what happened. And I went in and I looked. Number one, okay, on Google right now, when you search cozy, is Jaclyn Hill Cozy Collection, Cozy Throws and Lounge Sets, Cozy from Jaclyn Hill, Cozy Wrap Me Robe, 10% off your order, the Biggie Gold, and it's like this big, right? Okay, at the top of this, it says, sponsored, and I'm like, I'm sure this is like an ad, but what does it mean to be, oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Then when you go down underneath this, okay, you have to scroll down, then all things cozy. So all things cozy has been pushed down now, okay? So I go in and I want to see what this sponsored post means on Google. Google sponsored links, another name for Google ads or AdWords ads, are an option that Google offers to sites and businesses that want to pay a fee to appear in the search results for relevant search queries. So Jacqueline Hill and her people deliberately paid to be at the top of the search engine for Cozy. Is it stupid as a business move? No, not at all. But when you are being criticized, okay, for taking this person's name, whose biggest fear was that they were going to get pushed down in the SEO ranking, and sure, Kaylin Nicholson, she could have paid for these Google ads as well, I guess, if she wanted to. I don't know how much they were. I don't know, like, if maybe if Jacqueline still would have paid more than her, she would have been at the top. I don't know how all of that works, right? But it proves that Jacqueline Hill and her team of people, that Jacqueline as the CEO of that team has to go in and approve every decision that is made, have looked on Google for this name and know that that name is being used and even deliberately paid for ads to push her name to the top because it's going to be her legacy, right? Okay. So then let's talk about Marlene Estelle. Now, if you all don't know the history of Marlene Estelle, hold on, let me get into this really quick. So Marlene Estelle was an influencer and the owner of Makeup Geek, which was a makeup brand that at the time that it closed, which was March of 2022, okay, and it closed because she just wasn't making the money anymore. The pandemic really hit her hard. She came out and made an Instagram statement and I believe a YouTube video. But at her height, she was making annually $22 million a year. And that was with no loans, no backers or anything. I mean, she did really, really well as an independent makeup uh, brand, right? Okay. So that was in March of 22 that she closed down. In 2019, Marlena Stell came out with a YouTube video, and I don't know if you all remember this. Let me just, this is from What's Trending, and this is just an article about it. Marlena Stell is spilling tea from behind the scenes of the beauty community, including on Jaclyn Hill and James Charles. Marlena is a beauty influencer and the CEO of her own makeup line called Makeup Geek. Uh, she has over 1.4 million subscribers and has been on YouTube for over 10 years. Marlena has had friendly relationships with other influencers like Manny MUA, Patrick Starr, and Jaclyn Hill, who have recently um, come under fire for poorly produced lipsticks she released under her own makeup line. Jaclyn's customers claimed their lipsticks were moldy and contained, hair, contained hairs, and Jaclyn denied these allegations, giving her own explanations for what went wrong with the product. Marlena was very social or very vocal about the issues with Jacqueline's response, and many felt like Marlena was trying to take Jacqueline down as revenge for some drama they had in the past. Emails between Marlena and Jacqueline were leaked, revealing that sh the two had planned on releasing a collaboration palette through Makeup Geek in 2016. But because Jacqueline decided to start her own line, the timing didn't work out and they canceled their collab. Marlena is denying that's the reason for she speaking up. Marlena revealed that she believes she knows which lab did this. While she was visiting the lab, she saw Jacqueline there and the rep confirmed they were working on ja Jacqueline's lipsticks. So, 
that's what happened with Marlena and Jacqueline in 2019. And I don't know if you guys remember all the drama of the palette that they were supposed to do and the emails. And it was big, 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 big drama at the time, okay? That this all happened and it came out and Marlena talked about it and basically was like, this is who Jacqueline Hill really is, okay? And also had things to say about the lipsticks. So since then, Mar Marlena Stell has like left and she's like, I'm not doing this anymore and whatnot, okay? Well... She came out a few days ago on Instagram, and she started having some things to say about this. So let's get in to what Marlena Stelt has to say, hold on a second, about all of this. Now, at first reading it, you can't tell, I mean, you obviously can, because you know their history, but you can't really speculate that she's specifically or definitely talking about Jaclyn Hill, but she confirms it. So hold on a second. So she says, as I'm building my next brand and also struggling with names being taken, so frustrating, there's no way an IP lawyer wouldn't look up if any other brand had the same name, whether trademarked or not. Legal to take it? Technically, yes. Ethical? Absolutely not. For any new business owners, the first thing you will do after writing your business plan is secure a name and trademark it. Uh, and then she goes in to talk about this. Is the government trademark electro uh, test is the government trademark electronic system search system to see if a name is taken under the same category. Next step is to secure your website uh, domain and social media handles. It's worth the money to hire an IP lawyer to handle this and save you money down the road. And I absolutely 100% agree with this. Okay, and you know, as somebody that just is like my name on social media with like my Twitter and my like you know YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff. It's like you want it to be consistent, right? But I've shared this in the past. Like as a person that has written a book and you know has thought about writing further books down the road, a cozy mystery, not K, but with a C, a cozy mystery, possibly, possibly a series. You know. When I look at, like, titles, and I've looked at titles for books for 30 years because I wanted to be a writer for 30 years. The first thing I do is I get on Goodreads or I Google search on Amazon or whatever the title of a book to see if somebody else has used it, right? So do I believe, and I've said this in past videos, that Jacqueline Hill didn't search out the name Cozy? No, I think she absolutely 100% knew this, Right. So when you go underneath there, it's interesting what people say. Somebody said, well said, it was, it was intentional. You don't miss something so blatantly already existing, especially so when you have an actual team of people working on it. She got steamroll steamrolled, Speaking, talking about Kayla Nicholson. Kayla Nicholson. Marlena responds and says, it takes a simple Google search and no lawyer would ethically sign off on something already in use in the same category, whether trademarked or not, it was a shit move for sure. And then somebody says, this whole situation breaks my heart for the smaller creator. She took the high road and paid for it with her brand. And then somebody says, I'm so lost. Can you share what happened? And then somebody says, they might be talking about Jacqueline Hill stealing the name Cozy for her Cozy line from a smaller creator who had been in the business for the last few years. Somebody says, oh, thank you. And then somebody says, we all know Jacqueline isn't ethical. And Marlena responds and says, my eyes were opened years ago. I was fooled in the beginning. And I think that's the thing is I think, you know, it's interesting right now when there's really not a lot of like huge drama going on. And it's like if Jacqueline were smart, like she would just continue to do her releases and kind of just stay quiet and whatever. But like because there's not a lot of drama going on and she's doing these things, there's a lot of eyes on Jacqueline right now. And I, and I think with all of these stories that are going on, people are really watching her a lot closer. And this whole thing of like, if you criticize me, you're bullying me. Why are people always so mean to me? That stuff doesn't fly anymore, okay? You're a 30 year old woman, pull it together. You're a CEO of now multiple companies, okay? You know, you're a millionaire beyond. Let's just pull it together a little bit. And there are a lot of eyes on Jacqueline and the eyes are all looking at her saying, okay, this doesn't add up. This was not very nice. This was not very kind. She still hasn't addressed this. She still hasn't addressed that. She's throwing up all this stuff that just looks like money, 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 money. So is it that Jacqueline is just a money hungry influencer that doesn't really care about her audience and will do anything and hurt anyone and steamroll anyone at any expense to get her way? Or is it all just coincidence? 
not a big believer in coincidence, but you decide. Anyway, let me know what you think about all of that in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.